Good morning everybody, welcome to Clayton Art Club. Um bit of a dark screen, I'll just put a light on. Don't know how much better that is. Um in fact I can put a different light on. Um if you just bear with me. I have a better light than this. So um welcome to Clayton Art Club. Let me just have a look. Is that better? A bit too bright, maybe. How's that? If it's too bright or too dark, please let me know. Something just to focus on. My pens. I've uh, also got me um, alcohol markers today. Now I will be getting onto digital art again, like I did in the past, and I will be getting onto other things. Um, but yeah. Uh, it's first one back, so we'll be doing something quite fun today. Um, so uh, let me just jump onto the comments, see if anyone's here and watching. Let's just have a look. Okay, so we've got a few people watching. Um, can see my coffee stain I can't actually see it on my own uh, anyway so um, today if you if you guys have anything you'd like me to draw specifically superheroes monsters you, your favorite character it doesn't have to be something gruesome it can be something fun um, then I'm always happy to draw what you guys would like me to draw um, Alternatively, I can always think up something. We could draw Pokemon, we can draw um, anything else really. And even if I haven't heard of it, I can look it up quickly on my computer and have a spin. If you really want to learn how to draw something like horses or, um, you know, something that you're kind of wrestling with and you just want a few tips and tricks on how to do that, then feel free to ask. Um, I'm just going to check the other comments. No. Nope. Right, so um, I think what I'll do is I'll just start with a doodle. Um, in fact, what I'll do first is I will just show you a few of the things we've drawn in the past. So this is one of um, my drawings that I did. And from one of the other live streams you can see we did Yoda uh, as Darth Maul and as uh, Iron Man. We drew Vulture from Spider-Man. Drew... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, someone's saying hello. Hi, Nick. Um, let me just have a look. There we go. Oh, they've gone to the top. That's really weird. Um, I don't know why the comments have appeared at the top instead of the bottom, but um, I'll just see if I can... There we go. Right, let's see now. Oh yeah, comments down the bottom now. But uh, on my screen it says group message, so I'm having to watch the stream as well in the background. If this is too bright, it looks pretty washed out to me. There we go. So now, um, yeah, so now I can um, bring up your comments and they look a bit nicer actually. Um, but yeah, um, this is one of the things we drew from one of the other live streams. Also, this comics, how to draw a comic, we drew Tintin. So if you want to go back and watch any of the old live streams, feel free. Um, uh, you can watch them on YouTube or on our Facebook page, Clayton Art Club, um, which looks like this. That's Clayton Art Club, which you've probably seen if you was waiting for me to start. Um, this is what we did uh, the other week, Batman. And, yeah, the rest is, I don't know. We've done We've done live streams for quite a long time. Um, but yeah, here's a nice fresh page. So if you have anything you'd like to watch today, me do. If you'd like to draw alongside, please do. If you'd like to share your artwork on 
uh, Clayton Art Club or private message me if you want me to have a little look at it. I really would like to see your artwork as well, see how you're doing, see how you're growing. Um, as One, it encourages me, but two, it's sometimes good to have some personalised feedback. So, um, so yeah, feel free to chuck in your suggestions in the comments. Um, feel free to comment and say if I've missed anything, because sometimes when I'm drawing, I miss stuff. Uh, I'm guessing you can hear me, because, uh, yeah, you can hear me. <laughs> so... Um, well, when we start drawing, I normally start with a pencil and then I transfer over to uh, an ink pen of some sorts. And then I transfer over to colouring it in with some alcohol markers. And then finally, I go back over the top with a white pen to the areas that need to be made white again. Ah, right. So we've got a comment from Matthew. Matthew suggests maybe a Dalek. A Dalek. Is that a Dalek with a tongue? <laughs> yeah, Dalek. That sounds like a genius idea. Um, I'm guessing you saw my artwork that I did the other day of a Dalek, which was this one. Let me just show you. Um, okay, my iPad has run out of battery, so I can't show you that one. Um, but it's a, it was from a previous... Um, Dalek. Just let me remind myself what they look like. I don't know if you guys have been watching Doctor Who. Um, but yeah, Dalek's pretty cool. Kind of very retro y. Um, which kind of Dalek do you like? Uh, do you, is there a certain style of Dalek? Do you like the new ones or the old ones? Or what are you thinking? Just something dramatic and Dalek y. Okay, let's draw some Daleks then. So I've got my pencil. So I'm thinking. We'll have a Dalek here. I'm just checking you can see it on the stream. I might buff up the light a bit. So this is going to start with this kind of dome shape which is the Dalek shape and we're going to have it and then we might have another Dalek behind we sometimes come in threes and we'll have this one kind of coming this way so I'm doing a cross here just to show the direction, a bit like if I was drawing a face, um, because they have a slightly protruding like lower section, because the bottom of the Dalek is kind of this shape, and then the head is here, so they have a kind of a skirt, if you know what I mean. So if I draw an X, that kind of shows where the front of that kind of oval shape is. So if this was the base of them, Obviously, they turn around. So maybe we'll have someone in the foreground being zapped by a, by a Dalek here, something kind of, you know, the kind of transparent look. Let me just look it up a minute. Will they turn to, turn to a skeleton for a bit when they get zapped, which is pretty gross, but we could do that. So maybe we'll have someone here being zapped. I'm just gonna draw it vaguely, just like a skeleton, just like a stick man. Uh, 
something like that. So this Dalek is zapping him here. Oh, he could be zapping someone. Uh, what have you said? He could be zapping a Cyberman, maybe. That would be cool. Maybe later. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Right. I might make these a bit bigger. Hopefully, you guys, if you guys can't see it clearly or any problems, please just just chuck them in the comments, and I'll try and brighten it or darken it. Or, I mean, when I start drawing with pen in a minute, I think it will. Um, it will look a bit better. So they have this kind of. Iron skirt. And then they have, if you draw two squares and then draw them back, that's where the, that's where the weapons come out of. And then they have a kind of, a kind of, vent underneath the head and then they obviously have a triangle head with their long telescopic eye So I'm going to start with the top from this one, so I'm drawing a bit more of an under thingy. I don't want it to be completely smooth, so I'm just giving it a kind of a little bend here. Same on this one. Obviously these ones are going to be a bit more blurred because they're a bit further back. Um, If you're doing something quite angular like this, it might be worth getting a ruler unless you've got a really steady hand. What I'm doing is I'm using this part by hand to make myself flat on the paper and then I'm trying to move in a very consistent line to get that nice straight line. I'm not pressing too hard in case I get it wrong. And then I'm drawing the top of the um, the weapon mount things. And what's quite cool about the latest series of Doctor Who is um, their lasers are a bit like Gatling guns. Um, so they kind of spin around, which I thought was a new addition. Um, And there's the uh, 
famous toilet plunger weapon uh, which they used to interrogate people What do you think of this? Do you think it's looking all right? Just check. Okay, so the signal strength is strong, so it's coming through well, which is good. Excuse me, and then we want to draw our person. So we're just going to draw um, just bear with me a second. So the laser beams are going to come out like this. Right. Oh, bear with me a minute. Sorry about this. This is also how you draw a skeleton. So we draw the shape of the head, the cheekbones as two little C's. And we'll just draw this vaguely because we're gonna So we'll just do it vaguely. We'll we'll blurt it out a bit. Draw a simple skeleton. A shoulder bone. And then something like that. Not very pleasant experience for this guy, unfortunately. And let's just quickly draw this guy one as well. So I'm just going to follow roughly
do a bit more behind just to neaten that up. So that one's very rough. This one is going to be our detailed one, and this is the focus of the scene. Um, this one could actually be shooting this way. And I do have a rubber today, which I normally don't, so. I'm going to actually rub out an area so I can fill that in with skeleton gooiness. That's the gist. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump onto my brush pens and I'm just going to start deciding what I'm going to keep and what I'm not going to keep. I'm just going to quickly fill this in. And at this stage, I might even add details as well. Um, I might even jump onto a this pen instead. And just to go over my lines not really worrying too much but just let me just check if everything's coming through all right yeah I think everything's coming through okay What do you guys think of it so far? Just get back to my Dalek reference. So when I was at university, I um, studied a thing called animatronics, which is where you make puppetry and fil for films and stuff and uh, one of my one of the guys who was studying with me one of my best mates he made a full size Dalek with uh, wheelchair motors in the bottom and oh it was amazing we had plans to prank the university by running around with it putting it in a lift but um we never got around to that part of the fun, but he made a pretty awesome Dalek. All out of fiberglass and such like. Whereas I made a, an autopsy video, <laughs> an alien autopsy. I'm going to leave the bits of the gun where the laser's going to come out because that's going to blank out where the lasers are. I'm going to draw the forearm first so that I don't overdraw. And I'm thinking I should be on a darker pen really because. Yeah. 
think this one's slightly too fluid at the moment, so we're just going to. So I'm using a. Using a brush pen. Try not to go too thick, but. And I'm going to leave the skeleton parts out because I want to just do that with the alcohol markers first and then go over the top because like x-rays are the Doctor Who Dalek laser effect looks very much like an x-ray so I want to mimic that effect if I can. Dalek number one and Dalek number two. How are we all doing? Are we still here? So I'm just going over this in pen and then we'll get on to the um, alcohol markers which I'm having a lot of fun with at the moment I think for comic book style I think they're very very cool so Oh, you had a connection issue. Oh, okay. Let's just read that one. Still here, had a connection issue. Oh, uh, at your end, okay. That's all right then. Well, not, it's not all right, but uh, sorry to hear that. But um, I'm always slightly paranoid that the connection issue is at our end. <coughs> Excuse me. I've just been talking to myself, so it's fine keeping myself company, enjoying this drawing a lot actually. 
I'm just going around the edge, kind of leaving the skeletony part. So we're going to do that with colour, so it looks like an X-ray, if that makes sense. Um, and then we've got the laser beams, which I'll draw in a second. So I might make these guys. Yeah. So I'm just going to actually rub this out. I can still see the skeleton underneath vaguely. So. Gonna look something up. Dalek Death Ray Effect. I wanna see what colours they are so that I can Cool, right, so I'm probably going to start off with the light blue and make it look like the energy is coming all the way from there to zap and I'll put a darker blue on in a minute I think. Uh, there's some blue in the eye. I just want to actually rub off a lot of this. Missed a few lines here and here. So let's just put them back in. So now I'm going to grab some darker blue, I think, and just put some around the edge. And I think my idea is to continue that blue effect almost in all of this, except for where the skeleton would be. So I'll just do this first. So what colour Matthew do you think for the colour of the Daleks do you think? What are your favourite colours for Daleks? Because they have some quite cool colours sometimes that's supposed to look like a skeleton but Oh, black, okay. So when we do black on these, we kind of don't do black, we do very dark grey, but yes, that does look cool. I could give it a kind of bluish tint on this side where it's being zapped. Um,
Oh, someone's saying hi. Let's see who's saying hi. Oh, Matthew, hi. Yeah, so Matthew is suggesting black and he's joined in separately. So that's cool. What do you think, Matthew? Maybe add some green into the mix just to just to mix it up a bit. Probably add lots of grey around the edge later anyway to do that. <laughs> right. Okay, so let's have the central one black or kind of very dark black, kind of greyish colour with silvery balls. And then um, I need another colour that's different for the other two. Uh, yellow would look cool. I'm going to choose yellow for this one and Matthew you can choose the colour for the final one or anyone else. Um, please feel free to suggest your Dalek colours to me. And um, So this is black but it's going to start off grey and I'm going to gradually bring the colour in just to... Um, I might even do slightly gold um, bumps. Start off with a grey, I think. And gradually get it darker, I think. I kind of want to draw kind of like some areas that are very dark in there and I'm going to do a kind of M shape here if I add a little bit of gold to that it'll kind of look a bit metallic So I'm going to start with my a darker shade of grey, I think now, and um, I think the light is going to be lighter on this side and darker on this side, so I'm going to have them in a the dark place, so I think I'll, we'll just fill this in. And I'm going to add a bluish tint to this side so that it looks like he's being illuminated from by the laser blasts which I think will look quite good let's go 
give some dark to the Excuse me. I'm just going to grab that lighter shade for this part again. And I am going to make it even darker. Darker. building up that light and dark I think really and what I want to do is in these recesses here I'm going to go full black Just around here. Some of the crevices just making it really dark. And then I'm going to have a very bit of gold. I'll darken this with grey in a minute. So that's my, so I'm going to make him a bit darker, just going to, yeah. By just putting a C shape of dark alcohol markeriness over the top. kind of adds a little bit of green to it which is interesting it just darkened it up a bit How's this looking guys? Are you still here? Still enjoying it? Let's put a bit here. And a little bit of a... Let's 
something going on in the ball thing. I think once we work on the background as well, I think these will look quite cool as well. So I'm going to do a kind of vibrant yellow Dalek as well. with these with grey again just to <laughs> fill in the gaps if you will how are we doing and I'm going to make this a bit darker as well because I realise it's not looking as black as it could be Just going to check the YouTube comments. No, not today. I'm just adding a really going a bit bolder with my dark colour as I see how the colours are affected and how they shade I'm just come back in with a really Should we do? Should we do a green one or a blue one? I think a blue. Mm. I think a blue one. Let's just do a blue one.
Sorry if I'm rushing this a little bit. Just filling in those spaces. I do want to get onto the the white part, which will hopefully make the whole picture kind of come alive. I'm going to jump straight into the darker grey for this guy. jump onto the really dark grey hopefully the stream's still coming in alright and you can still hear and see what we're doing um, so we do this uh, Clayton Art Club live stream every Monday I mean we was off for Christmas but um, I try and do this every Monday at 10 o'clock on YouTube and on the Facebook group. So if you're interested in doing more of this, you can either look back through what we've done already or watch live on Monday mornings. Um, if you have any artwork that you've done off the back of this, it doesn't have to be a Dalek, but if you want me to have a look at any of your artworks and for my uh, view you're very welcome I'm going to do the uh, I'm going to hopefully smudge that with a nice yellow Pretend Daleks in the sky just to make it look really bad, I guess. And I'm going to grab a very light grey first, just do the mountains. I might even grab a lighter grey than that. And I'm just doing it quite fuzzy, this lot, just to grab an even lighter grey, I think. Sorry about the squeakiness of these pans. Just doing it quite rough and quite fast because I'm aware of the time. Let's 
might be too dark I think but maybe it won't Trying not to ruin the whole composition by just rushing the background, but I want there to be some atmosphere to this because, you know, the Daleks are the Doctor's like ultimate enemy, so. Mucky now, but never mind. I'm just going around things with a little bit of swiggle, a little bit of making it look intentional. Daleks in the sky. Let's have some, uh, let's have some laser beams. Add some white to those in a second, I think. So I've got this white pens that are really useful, and they're really useful for just bringing out the highlights again. So this can look quite overloaded with just flat color. So when you come over the top with white, it can really bring a painting or a drawing back. So that's what I like to do. Um, and I'm just going a bit crazy on this really. Um, just areas where I think the light will be ricocheting off the metallic edges of and areas where I think there's too much colour I can just scribble over and it breaks down the kind of solid colour and it kind of makes them blend a bit more so it just breaks down. I mean, these aren't the best at the moment. They're just not. That one's not working. Oh, yeah, it is working. So I'm going to put some white beams in the middle of the laser beams to just make it look more of a glowing effect. Ish. Just checking the camera is still under the. Sometimes just going over with the white makes the world of difference. No, it's making these bauble things pop, in my opinion.
Just adding them in I think makes a load of difference. I don't know if you guys can see it uh, on the screen. Let's go and do Mr. Blue. And let's just put some on the Daleks in the sky. Just trying to think what else I could do. I think I might just maybe just try blending the greys in a bit more. So look, I have a meeting to have to shoot. Thank you for a great session. We'll check the end out very later. Okay. Oh, but Matthew's still here. Okay, cool. Awesome. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so I'm just going to go over a bit more. Fill them bits in, just make it look more mucky, I think. And what I might do is get a blue, a very light blue, and just illuminate the Dalek. Good, like wash over it. <coughs> Excuse me. What I might do is just go over with some dark pen in here as well, just to. Just a little bit here and there, just with a little bit of the black pen, I think just makes it look a bit like a a battleground. There's some Cybermen for you, Matthew, because I know you said you wanted some, so just rough. And I just want to put a bit of shade underneath these guys so it looks like they're not just looking weird. So just I'm putting some dark underneath them.
What do you think, Matthew? I think it looks all right. Bit of an epic scene, really. Quite scary. <laughs> In some ways it could do with a bit more dark here and there. I think it's easy to be afraid of putting too much black in. I think just putting a little bit here and there. I think it just breaks it down a bit. Exterminate. Make it a bit more cloud like. Like they've just invaded and it's all dark and dreary and miserable and. Oh. Poor Cyberman. go I don't know I can't stop <laughs> just want to keep coloring in do you ever get that Matthew where you just want to keep drawing and drawing and drawing Anyway, I'm going to call this stream a day. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, there will be, I'll be putting out some sessions soon. So thank you so much for joining us. And um, I need to stop, but I can't. I really want to finish this. Right, there we go. Daleks in all their glory and evilness. I am finishing honestly. I'm just addicted to drawing cool stuff, so don't blame me, I'm an artist. So yeah, if you want to check out Clayton Art Club Facebook page, or if you want to check out um, anything else that we do on the YouTube channel, feel free, and I will see you guys next time. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.